What's up, Nasty Gang? It's your girl, Jay Nasty, on the mic, and I'm bringing you another base mental video. Today's video is an updated tutorial on how to trap in The Sims 4. Selling in this game has a lot of depth to it, so I'm gonna break it down for you guys and show you guys how to make your sim into a dealer. In this video, we're gonna learn how to become a dealer, how to get our supply, how to get clients, and your dealing skills. I'm gonna do my best to organize it and timestamp it for you guys, so check the description. If that sounds good to you, then stay tuned, but feel free to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me and comment down below anything you want for your chance to be featured in our Nasty Gang 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 shout out. <laughs> also subscribe if you already haven't to become part of the Nasty Gang family because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell. <laughs> All right guys, let's learn how to trap in The Sims 4. I also just wanted to mention that if you want to learn more about the base mental mod itself then I'll link a playlist here for you guys I have some different tutorials and I explore different features of the game so make sure to follow along with that playlist so I can teach you all about base mental now let's trap so we are at our local friendly neighborhood trap all right I'm gonna quickly show you the house before we get into the video like look at this I'm gonna link the video where I found this house at because this creator La Skrills Gaming she did a phenomenal job like I'm thoroughly grossed out and I just think it deserves its recognition especially because the CC is bomb I was looking for a trap house to do my videos in for so long so thank you La Skrills so if you want to become a dealer, you can't just come and start selling on other people's turf without permission, okay? That is not how the street code works, buddy. You're going to have to go get permission from another dealer in order to start selling. There's four different selling categories, and you're going to need to ask permission for each individual category. In order to do this, we first have to assign us an NPC drug dealer. Now, this has to be an NPC, so it can't be a played sim or a played household or anything like that. So we're gonna click on any sim really because we're just gonna try to get into the settings and we're gonna find the drugs pie chart. So you see it right here. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click on settings. And as you can see here, there's a bunch of different ways you can customize this mod, but we're gonna focus on assign NPCs. Go ahead and click that. And we're going to assign a drug dealer. If your sim is interested in selling white girl, that's the street name for it, okay? And they wanna take it to the big leagues and purchase big, large quantities, then you're gonna need to assign your a separate big shot dealer and you can find that under this option here so here you see that you can assign a big shot dealer which is the person that's gonna have the large amounts and you can also assign the Salvadorada dealer and that ties into smuggling out of the vacation world Salvadorada all right but that's a whole other video okay just keep in mind that if you're selling white girl and you want to sell in big amounts you're gonna need that separate dealer but to be begin selling in general you're gonna assign the drug dealer and then from here you can assign dealers and once you've assigned some you can also remove them from this same menu so if you change your mind about somebody or for me for example I had to remove all the dealers so that I can do this video for you guys but a pro tip is to keep in mind who you want to assign a dealer okay because once I click assign dealer you're gonna see that it loads up every eligible sim in the world so it's gonna have a lot of different sims it's easier to know who you're gonna assign beforehand so that you can just look for them in this menu they're familiar you may have relationships with them but again make sure they're npc and not a played household if you were to just pick somebody randomly from this menu then you're gonna have to go out and find them in the world so picking a random npc is gonna just have you going from lot to lot looking all crazy just spare yourself the time and trouble and assign somebody you know so the guy standing right here is gonna the dawn and we're assigning him as the dealer just because we're here we're gonna assign a big shot dealer also and that's gonna be the other guy in this household Augustine if I could just find him again a lot better to look through here for who you truly want than to be out there in the world trying to look for whoever it is you picked here he goes all right so we've assigned the dealer and the next step is we're gonna have to build a good relationship with the dealer you want to earn this guy's trust okay so you have to build a strong relationship before the option to sell will even pop up but once you do you can go back into the drugs pie menu and now you're gonna see an option for other requests we're gonna click on this and aside from buy fake id you're gonna now see the option for drug dealing so geo already has this from the last 
last video, but it's gonna say inquire, 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 all right? And you're gonna have to go and inquire about all four options. And basically what you're asking or inquiring about is, do I have permission to sell this? Let's go ahead and we'll ask about all four. You're gonna get a little pop-up that confirms it. It says, as long as you buy it from me first, I'm cool with it. You don't necessarily have to buy it from the sim that you get permission from though. If you have multiple dealers, you can get it from whatever one. You can sell as many or as little as you want. You don't have to sell all four. You can pick one and just stick to that. Once your sim is okayed on the particular substance, they're gonna get a trait that pops up in their simology. Again, each one of the four categories has its own trait and comes with their own skills. And it's important to inquire and gain these traits because if you just cheat the skill, through MC Command Center or something, you're not gonna get the perks of the different skill tiers because you don't have the trait. So make sure you inquire and that you get your traits. That way the skills and rewards and everything works out okay for you. Now each of the four dealing categories comes with its own skill. And once you get approved to sell, you're going to acquire the skill. So you see Gio has his skills already maxed out, but you have a pill, a weed, a white girl one, and a crystal one. Oh my god, my sim took medication. He has gonorrhea thanks to Woohoo Wellness Mod. He a hoe. He's the baby daddy in my Teen Mom series, and yeah, he caught the clap, man. As you grow your dealing skills, you're gonna unlock a bunch of different options. You're gonna unlock better pricing for you to get your supply. You can unlock being able to purchase things directly off of the dark web and having no middleman in between. You can smuggle white girl from Salvadorada. You can press your own MDMA pills, or you can eat even exchange a woohoo for that person to get their fix instead of paying in cash. Now that we've become a dealer, you're gonna have to worry about your inventory. Like, what are you gonna sell? There's a few different ways to buy stuff. You can purchase from your dealer. Again, if you have high skills, you can purchase from the dark web. Or you can purchase some bigger quantity items off buy mode, but the options are very limited. You can also grow your own cannabis and your own shroom. So you can save some money there and gain some gardening skill by just growing your own. I do have an entire video video on how to purchase your substances. So if you guys are confused at all on how to do that, I mean, you're already halfway there. Whatever dealer you assigned and built a relationship with, you just go to the drug pie menu and buy drugs and then you can buy whatever you want. We'll click on powder and we'll just buy something to show you guys very quickly. But I have an extensive video that gives you the rundown, the breakdown. I had to throw some tips in there as well on buying. So check that video out separate from this one if you wanna know more about buying but yeah we'll buy a package of speed because it's all we can afford right now and boom sure thing here you go grade a candy for adults and we're gonna look in our inventory and boom you see a package of speed so from there you're gonna want to open it up because you can't sell big packages by the way you have to make sure that you open up your stuff to be in individual baggies so you can sell the ziplocs not the big packages basically and for zans and adderall you have to sell it by the bottle so if you have something like a package of speed in your inventory and the option doesn't come up to sell it then maybe you just got to open it now we're gonna focus on how to get clients and actually sell to them we're here at our local project because we're gonna try to get some custies to sell to Adeline Stewart you look like our first victim so in order to gain a client you're gonna have to introduce yourself of course and then you're gonna have to gain a good relationship with them now this lady here wants nothing to do with us she's walking away and we're like hey little girl want to buy some crack you're gonna have to gain a good relationship with them before any options even pop up. We became best friends with Adeline just for time purposes. We don't have time to be building relations with her, all right? And once you gain a good relationship, you can go back to the drug pie menu and now you're gonna see all of these options. You're gonna have to do this for each of the four categories, but just choose whichever one and there's gonna be a few options that are gonna pop up. Now you're gonna have to repeat these social interactions again and again until you can seal the deal. So basically you're gonna feel them out so Soften them up, you know, be like, yeah, hey, so, you know, you ever party? Yeah, you like to drink, uh, you like to do crack, you know? And I think it's about three times, but I'll tell you for sure in a second. I honestly don't know why this bitch just got naked right here in the middle of winter, but she did. And thank goodness for streamer mode, am I right? So yeah, it's three interactions. After three interactions, please, I'm sorry that she's naked. I'll change her in a second. You're gonna get the option to seal the deal. Again, for every one of the four selling categories you have, 
have, you have to do it for each individual category for each client. So if you're selling all four, you have to individually go through and seal the deal four times on each one of them for you to be able to sell them whatever. Now it's a pain in the butt, it is a lot of work, but it gives you the most opportunity for profit because you can only sell so much. First of all, we'll put some clothes on her and I'll tell you what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna seal the deal. This is him sealing it. <laughs> it really means a lot to me that you make time. What the hell? They gained the sentiment because she agreed to buy weed off him. Now that we've sealed the deal, we can go back here into the menu. You can remove someone as a client from this menu now also. We're gonna go to Bud and we're gonna press sell cannabis. All right, Gio's on his way over to Adeline. And I don't know why there's no animation anymore. There used to be. Boom, we can sell, oh look, anything we want. This is new. Wow, so can we sell her like all of this? So I guess you can sell them now anything in the hallucinogen category. We're gonna try to sell her five LSD sheets, 22 mushrooms, and six Ziplocs of AK-47. Let's see if we can sell her that all at once because it used to suck that you had to sit there and sell little by little by little. So let's see. Oh, yep, look, $1,000. But she must have just bought a one of everything. Let me see, do I still have my mushrooms? Yep, she only bought one of everything. Keep in mind when you sell the harder stuff, you can only sell it once every few sim hours. So if you try to sell it back to back, you're gonna see the option is locked. So you just have to wait a little bit before you can sell to that client again. You can sell the same product to different clients, but you can't just pump them full of crystal meth packages over and over. I've tried. If you notice the amount of money you're getting varies it's because it's calculated based off of your dealing skill so if you have a higher skill you're gonna make more money if you're trying to sell to a sim that's in one of your other played households the game is gonna automatically check their household funds to see if they can afford the transaction if at any time you want to access your customer list then you just click on your sim find that pie menu and here you're gonna see customer list you can find the different lists here. So you see I clicked on Bud and we just got Adeline as a customer. So he's checking his little list here and boom, Adeline comes up. Mind you, don't keep physical copies of any list if you're doing um, illegal activities. All right, I'm just saying you didn't hear that from me. As a dealer, you're gonna receive random phone calls from your clients requesting you to serve them. So they're gonna come over and you're gonna be able to serve them whatever particular drug they asked for. If you wanna sell to a particular sim that you haven't seen in a while or just someone specific then you can go to your phone go to the base mental tab and press sell if you want to stop receiving customer phone calls you can just mute your customers and if you're looking to purchase large quantities without having to physically travel to a different lot you can call over the big shot dealer be careful not to let your sim get too carried away because too many transactions with a low skill can lead to police busting your sims and confiscating their inventory. The police system is pretty intricate, so if you want to learn more about it before I have a video available for you guys, then feel free to check out the Base Mental website. All right, guys, so I showed you how to become a dealer, how to get supplies and inventory, how to get clients, and all about the dealing skills. So if you have any further questions, feel free to check out my Base Mental playlist or the Base Mental tutorials on their website. They're very, very, very helpful. If you enjoy mod videos, Base mental videos or wild fun crazy gameplay then feel free to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me comment down below anything you want for your chance to be featured in our nasty gang 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 shout out and also subscribe if you already haven't to become part of the nasty gang family because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell but all right guys that's gonna be it for me today jay nasty out peace and love when i get my